Jill Marazan was 35 years old during her second pregnancy. Outwardly, she was the picture of health and going through the normal preparations to welcome a second child into her family. With just days before that baby boy was due, she discovered the lump on her breast. A biopsy revealed a scary diagnosis. After the biopsy that I received, the news um, that it was positive for breast cancer and it was triple negative breast cancer, which is a very aggressive type of breast cancer. Equally aggressive were the steps to begin treating Jill. I had my C-section actually on a Sunday. I had a lumpectomy actually the next day on Monday. Um, so we just wanted to get the cancer out. Um, I was very aggressive in that I just wanted it out. Um, and then the following Monday, we were at the James meeting with Dr. McRae. Knowing the type of cancer she was facing, Jill wasn't sure what she was going to hear. I'll never forget the first meeting with her. And then she sat down and she really mapped out for us that I do have curable cancer and that she was going to be able to cure me. Um, I think when you get the news of I have cancer, the first thing you think of is I'm going to die. And she um, was very um, confident in the confidence that I needed at that time to say, um, I, can, I can cure you, we will cure you here at the James. There's no routine breast cancer because breast cancer is not just one disease. It's a spectrum of diseases. Because of that, the biology of each cancer is different. Some grow slower, some grow more fast. Some are more sensitive to chemotherapy and some respond just by taking an anti-hormonal agent. So from those different subtypes, each one is treated in a very different way. So when I see a patient in the clinic, we talk about what type of breast cancer she has, the prognosis that it means, and that the specific treatment that's tailored to her individual type of cancer. Jill was facing a long road, 20 weeks of chemotherapy, an intense regimen that took its toll. I tell people I felt like I was sick all the time. Like the day before you get a really bad cold and you're just really weak and really tired and you just don't feel like yourself. That's how I felt for 20 weeks. <laughs> the hair loss was my biggest thing. Um, I had a hard time with it. Um, I've I think had the same haircut for 20 years. <laughs> so um, now I get a new haircut. All this while caring for a five-year-old and a newborn baby. It was tough but again I had an amazing support system. I have a husband that does so much for me and our children. The baby and I spent a lot of days on the couch just sleeping. <laughs> so yes, we had a lot, of, a lot of bonding time. The Stephanie Spielman Comprehensive Breast Center at the James also provided a huge support system for Jill, from the people to the comprehensive services all under one roof. During treatment, I actually found another lump um, in my breast and I came to Dr. McCray and she looked at it and said, let's get an ultrasound. So I walked across the hall to get an ultrasound. Um, they did the ultrasound, went back to meet with Dr. McCray. Dr. McCray decided she wanted a biopsy. So again, I went back across the hall, <laughs> down the floor, um, and they were able to do a biopsy. All of that happened in one afternoon under one building. So it was amazing and they were able to um, get the results with to me within a couple days, which it was negative, so that was very good. They really treat you like they're, like you are their only patient. I felt like I was the only one she was treating, the only one the nurse was treating. After 20 weeks of chemotherapy, Jill still had a decision to make. There are two ways that I could go. I could go radiation or I could do a surgery, which is a, a double mastectomy. And I chose surgery for me, and it was more of a personal choice that I made um, so that I didn't have to go every year and have a mammogram and worry about um, there being another spot. The targeted treatment plan for Jill's triple negative breast cancer was the result of years of clinical research and trials. Here at the Stephanie Spielman Breast Center, we have over 30 clinical trials for women with breast cancer in all stages of disease. So that's in women who have very small tumors, all the way to patients who have much more aggressive disease, really giving patients a broad spectrum of options. Triple negative breast cancer is one of the subtypes of breast cancer that we've been discussing. It happens to be a little bit more of an aggressive subtype. And here at the James, we're specializing really from a research perspective um, to learn more about the disease from the genes or the RNA involved. But more specifically, we have a couple clinical trials available that we're leading here at the James uh, where we're giving targeted agents to these patients. And what does that mean? That means is that we're testing medicines that you can take by mouth, really to see if a patient can take their medicines at home 
um, that's going to cause a shrinkage in their tumor. So we're very excited about it. We've made great strides. That's why I'm a breast cancer doctor, is that there are many women that I treat every day that I cure of their cancer. But there's still a subpopulation of women who have very advanced disease, meaning it's spread from the breast to other organs, that we still just can't cure. And we're not smart enough yet, and that's why we're doing the clinical trials to help figure out what's going to treat these women so that they can live longer, happier, healthier lives.